Games with soul-crushing difficulty have a certain undeniable charm to them, because when developers manage to strike that elusive yet perfect balance between challenging and fair, or come close to doing so at any rate, they deliver experiences that offer something that nothing else can. The satisfaction of overcoming an insurmountable hurdle, the swelling sense of victory that accompanies defeating a massive, deadly boss, these things are priceless. Thankfully, there was no shortage of games in 2019 that gave us exactly those things, and in this feature, we'll be looking at a few such titles. So, without further ado, let's get started. Wargroove Positioning itself as a spiritual successor to the fan-favorite Nintendo series Advance Wars, Wargroove had a lot to live up to, and for the most part, it met those expectations expertly. And among the many things that endeared Chucklefish's strategy title to the masses was its difficulty. Wargroove is a challenging game, and nearly every fight, every skirmish in the game, is an uphill battle. And while Wargroove does occasionally become a bit too harsh with its difficulty, by and large it maintains a pretty healthy and consistent balance. The Surge 2 the first of many Souls-like titles on this list, for understandable reasons, 2017's The Surge was a solid crack at the genre for developer Deck 13, and with its sequel, they delivered something bigger and better. The Surge 2 still has that same visceral combat and the challenging bosses, while Jericho City's interconnected maze-like environments make it a joy to explore. Does it still have issues? Why, yes, certainly. But if you're looking for a challenging, rewarding Souls-like experience, The Surge 2 is sure to keep you satisfied. Code Vein Bandai Namco decided to put their own spin on Souls-like this year with Code Vein, taking the mechanics and systems of the genre and combining those with an anime flair, and the result was surprisingly great. Code Vein can be brutally challenging, with excellent enemy design and bosses that mercilessly hammer players with deadly barrages. Though the level of challenge here is somewhat dampened by the AI companions, Code Vein is still, by and large, a game that can test your skills like few others can. Green Hell The survival genre is steeped in challenge and difficulty by its very nature, so when we tell you that Green Hell is one of the most challenging survival titles in recent years, you know it's gotta be a pretty tough game. Completely devoted to grounding itself in reality, Green Hell constantly throws one obstacle at the player after another, from diseases and starvation to the wild and unpredictable environments of the game. It's certainly not for everyone, that's for sure, but fans of the genre will definitely find plenty to be enamored by here. Space Robinson Hardcore Roguelike Action Space Robinson's hardcore roguelike action is, in spite of some issues, a proper roguelike title through and through, true to its name. Blasting through its procedurally generated levels can be a blast, while its progression mechanics make the proceedings much more engaging, but the game's defining trait has to be its challenging nature. This is a game that proclaims proudly that you will die many times and quickly while playing it, and it makes good on that promise constantly. Valfaris Valfaris flew under the radar of a great many people when it launched in October, which is a bit of a shame because the game is an absolute gem. For fans of classic action platformers that were characterized by their death traps of precise platforming, brutal enemies, and flashy carnage in action, Steel Mantis's Valfaris is a dream come true. It strikes a great balance between fairness and difficulty, and it never fails to impress with its excellent design. Outward Developers making RPGs can usually find it very easy to resort to genre tropes and cliches, but Outward dares to offer something different. And though it does stumble in some places, it's still an ambitious, impressive game. Outward presents as much of a challenge with its world and its survival-esque mechanics as it does with its combat, which isn't a cakewalk either, and all of it comes together to deliver an incredibly immersive and engaging experience. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Probably the most obvious entry in this list, From Software has been the biggest champions of brutally unforgiving video games for years, but with Sekiro, they truly outdid themselves. The game kicked off a major debate surrounding accessibility and difficulty in games when it launched earlier in 2019, all because of its soul-crushing difficulty. And while there is merit to the argument that the difficulty makes the game somewhat inaccessible, the sense of satisfaction you get after beating any one of the game's many, many, many daunting foes is simply unparalleled. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 
Respawn's Fallen Order is a pretty easy game to get through on lower difficulties, but crank it up to hard and you get a proper Souls-like experience, combining the structure of Dark Souls with the combat of Sekiro. Enemies hit hard, bosses can absolutely destroy you, and perfect parries are crucial, making the experience a true test of your will and skills. It's still a hell of a good time if you play it on easy or normal, but if you're looking for a challenge, Fallen Order's harder difficulties will surely appeal to you. Blazing Chrome Contra was once one of Konami's biggest franchises, and though it doesn't seem like it'll be making a proper comeback anytime soon, because no, the abomination known as Contra Rogue Corps does not count, there's plenty of indie devs out there who are filling that void. Take Blazing Chrome for instance. Joy Masher's excellent side-scrolling shoot-em-up is bursting to the seams with thrilling combat, tough boss fights, and absolute carnage. It's an excellent throwback to a legendary franchise, and a bloody good time all in all. Ion Fury Like Blazing Chrome, Void Point's Ion Fury is an ode to a style of shooters that we just don't see anymore. Taking the retro sensibilities of the likes of Duke Nukem and Doom, Ion Fury offers up a gauntlet of one challenging firefight after another. On higher difficulties especially, Ion Fury plays like an excellent retro shooter. If you're a fan of classic first-person shooters that weren't afraid to not hold your hand, Ion Fury might just appeal to your tastes. Katana Zero Katana Zero is yet another indie gem that harkens back to the good old days of gruelingly difficult action platformers. And while it does do that, it does so in a very fresh way, combining stylish, slick, and fast-paced action with a level of difficulty that can be surprising at times. Thankfully though, the game never fails to push back against the player and offer up an actual challenge. It also never goes overboard and constantly maintains a very enjoyable balance. Monster Hunter World Iceborne Monster Hunter World is a game that just keeps on giving, and in 2019 it gave us dozens upon dozens of hours of new content with its Iceborne expansion. And it was stellar, because it had everything that makes Monster Hunter so good. Iceborne was packed with excellent new monsters, each impeccably designed, and taking down some of them was easier said than done. Monster Hunter has always had a knack for throwing some really tough boss fights at players, and Iceborne surely didn't buck that trend. Cadence of Hyrule A game that takes the Zelda license and combines it with rhythm-centric gameplay isn't something you expect to see too often, but as bizarre as Cadence of Hyrule's premise sounds, it is an absolute treat. It is, surprisingly enough, also a pretty challenging game, especially in its earlier hours. Cadence of Hyrule does become a much easier game as you progress through it and get to grips with its systems, so it's not a consistently difficult game, but its first few hours are still more difficult than we expected. Remnant from the Ashes After developing Darksiders 3 in 2018, Gunfire Games decided to make something completely new this year. The result was Remnant from the Ashes, an engaging, brutal, and rewarding game that was better than most had expected it to be. It is, in essence, yet another game that borrows heavily from the Souls series, but it puts its own unique spin on the genre to deliver something very unique. Getting through Remnant is by no means a cakewalk, but it's surely a game worth experiencing, especially for fans of the genre. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.